an embodiment of true love for humanity and especially for kids. Dr. Freyden Shurkatvay, an Iranian-born American, wants to show the world how to make a difference. There are no boundaries for his kindness and no limit to whom it will reach. His paintings are manifestations of his vast love. His view of life makes him stand out from an average artist. This house has a Zen uh, design because the Japanese lay. people owned it. He makes his final move to the United States to join the family. This was a flower bed. I just dug it out and put liner in it. And that was it. You can see his art extends to his garden as he and his wife Rika prepare for a family gathering. What's that? A I camera again. I see your entire beautiful garden. You have a magnificent garden. As a loving father of two sons, born from two German mothers, he exemplified the true love a father could give to his sons. Now one is a new father and the other one in process. Only time will tell how they will manifest the love they received from both their mothers and father toward their own children. His upbringing and education is also a manifestation of interesting encounters and cultural diversity. Well, I was born in Tehran, Iran. I'm 73 years old, and uh, my upbringing was in a Muslim Shia family <clears throat> that they were very liberal. Um, when I was 18, I went to Europe, to Germany, and studied agriculture, and then I got my doctorate in agricultural economics, and then became university professor in Halab University in Shiraz, Iran, and for three years I was research professor in Germany, and then came here to the United States in 1973 to join my family, and ever since I have been here. Where his expectations met? The expectation of how America looks like physically it was pretty much known to me. I have lived in Europe and especially in the metropolitan areas. Uh, there is a great deal of similarities to Europe, in many parts of Europe. The expectation about my family uh, I came here with, with being uh, with them and spend time with them. And I'm glad that I was able to spend several years with my father and mother before they passed away. But overall, I was disappointed to see my family, my, my siblings, so disjointed. The love of my parents was exactly the same as it was before. But I saw pretty much every one of our family members, my siblings, have gone their own way. For many years, he made his living as a real estate professional in Southern California and managed one of the largest real estate offices in Torrance, California. His success was not his ultimate goal. He soon would find a more lucrative endeavor, one that would increase much faster than money. This book, Colors of Paradise, I published in 2005. About 20 years ago, I had a heart attack as a result of being so much involved in business and making money and basically serving my own ego to expand and do more and more and more. And maybe the heart attack was the best thing that happened to me because I started changing my life and I started uh, uh, meditating and I started using my painting as a means of basically healing myself. I use tassel and string to paint with something that I cannot control or cannot control me 
and then I developed it to more using brush and other things. In the year 2005, my two-year-old niece's son, my brother's grandson, became my inspiration to get some of my paintings and my writings, my poems, and make it to this book. It's called Colors of Paradise. This is my hand holding Kevin's hand, basically as a means of the purpose of this book, that the grown-up have a duty and responsibility to, to, to give a whole, uh, uh, to, to stretch their hand and help the kids. Yeah, this is the message of Dalai Lama that he wrote as a forward to this book. The purpose of my book was not necessarily to teach or say any particular thing. And that's why in my book, I'm saying at the beginning that since my writing was in a period of about 20 years, there may be contradiction in what I said, but there are no contradictions in the feelings that I, that I express with colors in this book. So basically, this was my legacy for my little two-year-old Kevin that later he would have some something from me. So and after I published the book, I, f I asked myself, what do I do with the knowledge that I have accumulated? I knew how to publish the book, and uh, I have also some friends that I could go to and ask them for financial help. And I love the children, so that's why I did this book. It's called Colors of Love and Peace. And this is the painting, this is a collection of the paintings of the school children, elementary school children, where my wife teaches here in Los Angeles. Okay. And every page has the picture of the child who created the artwork with messages for the children in the hospital. And we are distributing this book in various hospitals in, in US. And also outside of the U United States, I've sent some books. And I go also to the uh, different hospitals and I do artwork with the hospitals. And basically, I'm trying to create a connection between the school, which is 186 Elementary School in Gardena, California, and the kids in the hospital. And that's basically what most of my activity is done. Like this one, the message is make sure you eat your vegetables, you know. This is a message of this boy to the kids in the hospital. And Dalai Lama wrote the foreword for this book. I just sent a copy of my uh, uh, raw book, and then I was surprised that I got an email and later the hard copy for him to write about, about love and compassion and, and, and happiness. My message to the people that see this video is to try to make a difference and try to give a helping hand to whoever is needy. And all of us are needy people. We are spiritually needy, physically needy, financially needy, and do a good deed because God wants us to do that.